I'm gonna be doing a violety red color. So what I do is I have two brushes. I labeled one number one and then number two. I have a bowl that has two different, you know, um, spots to put my color in. So I just use my color brushes so I don't get confused in which is which. Number one is gonna be the dark color and number two is gonna be the light color. I wanna do two different types of violet. I don't want my hair to be just one like just one simple color. I want some dimension in there. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using this Paul Mitchell Shines. I'm using the 7RV and then the 4V. So the 4V is going to be where the darker hair is. So from the roots or from the beginning of the weft all the way to the mids is where I'm going to use the uh, 4V, 4V. And that's just like a violet. For the 7RV, I'm going to use that for these really blonde ends. And the reason why I want to use on the blonde ends is because it's going to give me that pop. Pour that in there. And then I'm going to get a developer of 20 volume. The reason why I'm doing 20 volume developer is because yes, I do want to deposit the color, but then I do want a type of lift to kind of make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to do the light color. So I'm going to get my 7RV, which is a seven, level 7 red violet. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but this time I'm going to use my number 2 brush so I don't get these colors confused. Now the develop, developer that I'm going to use for the 7RV is a level 10 because I just want to deposit the color. My hair is already light enough for the color, the color that I want at the end. So I'm going to do color 1. You want to make sure all of the hair is saturated, but you don't want to overdo it and use too much and then run out of product. It was, I'm just going to start rolling it as if I'm rolling it back into um, a bundle. But first, I'm going to do my second color. So I'm going to get my uh, level 7 RV red violet and I'm going to do the ends. 